Albuquerque police say he was filling up empty milk containers with gasoline and making threatening comments. When officers got there, he admitted to it then changed his mind. News 13's Marissa Lucetto has the video. Marissa? Dean, Jess, it wasn't just one person who told police they saw Andrew Padilla acting strange, and officers ended up catching him in a web of lies. From the get-go. Good. What's going on, man? No, I'm waiting for a ride. This car didn't start. This man, Andrew Padilla, fed officers a whole lot of lies when they met up with him last month at a Smith's gas station off Tramway and I-40. He had the three-gallon containers on the floor. Okay. He's stuffing like a cloth in each one of the, um, the containers. The witnesses tell police Padilla was screaming that he was going to burn a quote female's house down when officers get him out of the car. Is the reason why you're sweating so much? No, just pissed off. What's, what are you mad at? I'm just mad at everybody, man. They smell a strong odor of gas and tell Padilla to pop the trunk. We have destructive incendiary devices. Officers find just what witnesses claim, one five-gallon gas tank and three-gallon size containers filled with gas and stuffed with cloth material. When officers ask Padilla about it... No disregard, I was just playing around. Some, <laughs> yeah. some quote-unquote house. No, I was just playing. Seconds later, Padilla changes his mind. So what was so funny about you saying you wanted to blow up someone's house? Oh, totally. Padilla tells officers the car belongs to someone else. That was the truth. The vehicle's owner comes to pick it up, and as officers are trying to verify his information, the man's girlfriend picks a fight with police. I will not allow you to touch her. Let me talk to her. Just get over there, now. Raven Humphrey then gets taken to the ground. We asked you so nice, ma'am, and it didn't work that way. After kicking an officer, she's arrested along with Padilla. And remember the car Padilla said wouldn't start? The man it belongs to drives away in it. Now, Padilla was released from jail the next day. Under his conditions of release, he's not allowed to possess any type of firearm or weapons while he awaits his court date. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Marissa. Padilla is charged with four counts of transporting explosives. That's a felony.